Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Sylvia? Yes, please. I'm going out for lunch and I... What? I said I'm going out for lunch. Any problem? Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. So I need you to take care of things till I come back. Okay, sir. Um, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Um, my princess, have a nice day. Thank you. And you too. Boss, going on a date? An actual date? This is unbelievable. Amazing. Is it just me or was the girl overly shocked to have seen us going out? Sandy, I haven't been with a woman in a while now. A very long while. Well, really? No wonder she has that look on her face. Couple with the fact that I just fired someone for trying to seduce me. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem, but always remind me not to say this you, so you don't get me fired as well. Can we go for lunch now? <laughs> we are going with you, Carl. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Your Majesty, the princess was looking extremely glamorous. Really? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Finally, my problems are coming to an end. I can feel it. Good news. Good news. Yeah. I can feel it. Absolutely. I can feel it, Your Majesty. <laughs> This is huge, very huge. Why is she doing this? What will she think of me if I accept this? Should I really be taking money from a woman? What do I do? I can't accept this. I can't just accept. Badadash, badadash. Oh. I'm sure you girls know how much I'm not. That money was nothing. The fact that you have over 50 million naira sitting in your account does not mean you give it all away. Listen, girls. Little things that people do entice me. I mean, I can know someone with a lot of potentials just by analyzing the person. And the last what he or she had done with little or no money. Chaos. You need to see the flyers that his workers have been circulating. You will see that this guy has a clear ambition. He was just limited by funds. And I'm sure you know that the banks are not even ready to loan money to small businesses. That guy needed that money. So I gave it to him. I believe in him. Sandy, and what will your father say if he finds out you gave away such an amount of money? He will leave my father out of this. I can handle it. All I just have to do is tell him that I'm getting married to the man I gave the money to. And trust me, he will be happy. Oh yes. Okay, I have to ask this. Why is your father so desperate to get you married? What is going on? You know what, girl? Do me a favor. Please, when next you see him, maybe you should try asking. Because you see this whole drama, this whole thing, it is very confusing. <laughs> Sandy, I think you should be careful. You have to be careful, very careful, so you don't make a mistake. Oh, yeah. I'm with you on that.
She gave you 20 million naira. This is unbelievable. Yes, she did. The money is already in my account as she has to speak. Look, man. You just struck gold. I don't know why these kind of things don't... You do not get too excited because I am going to return the money to her. You know? Are you mad? See, Roland, I don't want her or her or any of her family members to get the wrong idea about me. I tell you this. You like her. I get it. But she gave you this money out of the goodness of her heart. Chizoba, think. Think of what 20 million naira will do to your business. All those templates you advertise here and there. With 20 million naira, they all can be executed. Let's think about the banks. Those banks have refused giving you loan. She's about with 20 million naira investment in your name. I bet you, all those banks will consider you as potential client. Look, you, you might think you are doing the right thing. But think of the princess. He might hurt her. Listen, I want you to think. She's about think before you make a hasty decision that will ruin your relationship with the woman you like. She called it an investment. Right? Treat it like one. The money is already in my account. But I'm going to accept it only on one condition. She's so bad. I mean, I don't know why you keep bringing in conditions and motives. Fine. The money I give to you is a gift. I only give it to you because I don't even know what to do with the money in my account. I realized you had potentials, but limited by funds. So you see, the money is a gift and nothing else. Sandy, I don't know why you must make a gift of 20 million to someone. It's outrageous. Now the condition is this. We are going to come to a time that the money is going to be an investment which must be accounted for. Okay, if that will make you happy, I agree. Which means your lawyer must meet with my lawyer. Fine. One more thing. What is wrong with this guy? Nothing is wrong with me. I want to make you a lunch in my place tomorrow. What? You cook? <laughs> I know how to boil water. <laughs> okay. That means you are going to boil hot water for me, right? Definitely, the hot water must be very tasty. Do we have a deal? Deal. Good night, Chizoba. Good night, Sandy. Yeah, I was cleaning the car. Okay, let me have My princess. Yes. Where are you going dressed like this? Excuse me. How am I dressed? Do I look naked? No. no like so? That. I'm sorry. I am going out. And you're not coming with me. Your Majesty, I understand how you desperately need the princess to be married. But sincerely, I am not concerned. What's so? wrong? Your Majesty, you needed to have seen how the princess was dressed when she was leaving the palace this evening. Not only did she discard all her royal regalia and the 
accessories as the princess. She practically left on her house clothes. I see. Your Majesty? Oh, Ikuku. The princess is a grown woman. Leave her to do what she likes. make this this is amazing I mean who would believe that we still have young men like you are there who knows how to cook I think I should get married to you right away <laughs> what I'm flattered I get it but this is actually very good <laughs> hmm. amazing Oh, I forgot drinking water. Please, let me get the job. Sorry. Okay. The process is not back yet? No, sir. Where specifically did she tell you she was going? She didn't say. She only said she was going out. And as the one that works very closely with her, do you have any idea where she could be this time around? No idea, sir. Malif. That's a good meal. Thanks for coming. <laughs> you really are a good cook, you know. And you are a good company. Thank you. So tell me, hope I've met all your conditions. Um, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Please, I would like you to join me again for another lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you giving me another one, like another condition? Uh, no, 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 no. Then you what? See, I love your company. I, I just want you to join me for another one. Okay, um, I'll think about it. And I will take that to be a yes. No way, I've not said yes. Okay, I'll get back to you on that. I really have to get going. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? What? Whoa, whoa, what's that? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Um, I have to get going. Okay. Is it a time you brought the young man home for us to meet? Father, I do not know who you're talking about. I'm interested. I want to meet that young man. Bring him home and introduce him to the king. Appreciate it. If you can make it snappy, why did you call me? I just wanted to be sure, hearing it from you firsthand, that you know exactly what you are doing with that young man yourself. 
Excuse me. Please don't see it as if I'm trying to pry your private affair. But I've seen you twice now. Leave this palace without your name. And your point is? Be very careful with men. Many of them are looking for ladies that are in your class that they will take advantage of. I don't want anybody to take advantage of you. That's my point. Jezebel, you cooked for a woman. Sure I did. <laughs> this is actually unbelievable. Hmm. How come you've come to like this woman like this? I don't know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> and I sincerely don't believe that this is me. Remember a few weeks ago, you told me here that you wanted a woman who would be like a mother to you. Oh, what has that got to do with anything? You practically acted like a mother to the princess. Look, I don't know what was in your mind, but I tell you this. You have one princess Sandy's heart. And you have to make a stronger move. My, my, my. Ha! The man just made his final move to completely win your heart. <laughs> what? Ha! He cooked for you. Sandy, the man cooked for you. Even the blind can clearly see what is going on here. Are you girls for real? What are you talking about? It was just a lunch. And what was his reason for doing that? It was just a thank you for investing in his business. Ah. Uh. What's how? Whatever. Well, if you girls will excuse me, I have a lunch date. I am late already. So I'm... See ya. Okay. Bye-bye. She's seriously doing it. Please. Ah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, see how yeah, you do I'm fine. You're welcome. My boss is in uh, just... No, 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 don't worry. I actually want to talk to you, if you don't mind. No, no, I don't mind. Um, you can take a seat. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's about the day I was um, going out with your boss. I saw the shock on your face. Can you tell me why you had that look? Um, I'm really sorry, my princess. I, I didn't mean to disrespect you. No, 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 it's okay. Truth be told, I have never seen my boss look at another woman the same way he looks at you. I mean, it was just all new to me. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, no. What? <laughs> but you two look very good together. You seem like a perfect match. <clears throat> really? Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm being too forward. No, 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 no. It's okay. Actually, you know, you remind me of my two best friends and my mate. They are so blunt, just like you. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Because there's something I've been dying to say to you. Really? Mm -hmm. Hit me. Say it. Mm -hmm. What is it? Okay, it's um, actually you without your royal regalia. What about it? I think that's it's extraordinary. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't really make you look so powerless. Yeah, in as much as you're looking very simple, it only really gives you this kind of um, aura <laughs> in the sense that I mean people who don't know you when they see you like this they intend to treat you like a commoner oh but they will be shocked to find out 
that you're a princess. Mm. I think that that gives you more power over them. <laughs> it is extraordinary to always appear me and at the same time, do I so much power? Yes. <laughs> so wherever that you got this idea from, I think that it is dope. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've said so much, my friend. No, no, no. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Celia. You know, you are a nice girl. Thank Keep you. it up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and, um, those earrings. What about my earrings? <laughs> they look so beautiful on you. Thank you. <laughs> but maybe I say that to you too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, well, you said it now. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. You are really a nice person. <laughs> Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, keep going. Thank you. Princess of Ubudubu Kingdom, the love of my life, the light that illuminates my world. I welcome you once again. Thank you. Well, just before you start with your praises, can we go for lunch? Why not? Let's go. Please, send me every information you have gathered already. Yes, every single thing you have gathered, every material you have gathered in the course of this investigation, I want you to send everything to me. If it is taking you this long to mask a very simple thing, like the task I gave you, it actually means you are very incompetent. And I swear to God, I don't like working with incompetent people. Send everything, send everything back to me more gently. That man is one of the best private investigators in this town. Give him some time. I am sure. I remember, this has been several years ago. Exactly my point. Exactly my point, Your Highness. It is several years ago. What if this... Oh, this is not the time for what ifs. Give him some time. Sure, he will deliver. So, you know what? what? I've had lunch with a lot of ladies in the past. I mean, years back. But the one I had with you today is just the best. I tell you, the memory of it will forever remain in me. Wait, wait. Is this why you brought me back into your office? <laughs> <laughs> to flatter me? Well, go ahead, because I'm already getting used to it. I don't know how else to explain this to you. I did not just flatter you. Well, I'm telling the truth. You are just one special gift from God to me. Yes. I, I, I appreciate that day, that very day you lifted your phone and gave me a call. Mm. And I also appreciate that very day that you are flying across to the palace. You know, the fire was meant to be short. Fortunately, it got to me. And since then, everything changed. Yeah, everything changed for good. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm, I thank you very much. Come on, see me. I do not want to start showing up with you know, my makeup, you know? Come on, okay. So I see. have to get going. Okay. Oh. So it's true. You girls are still here. Well, 
we had nothing better to do. Since you said it was a long date, we decided to wait till you come to hear the outcome. Okay. Well, nothing happened. Hmm. That is exactly what people who want to have something extremely romantic say. Yes. Hit me, girl. <laughs> Hit you from... <laughs> Please. Nothing happened. I mean, it was just a lunch date. I told you. Sandy, see that. Okay. Fine. I'm all seated. Happy now? So, come on, girl. Tell us what happened. Oh, okay, fine. We ate, drank, and then um, I came back home. Huh. Really? Really? Emma made lunch for you yesterday, then today took you out on a date, and did not make any move towards you? You girls don't give up, do you? I mean, it's not hard for you to mind your business. Come on, girl. Where's the poop? Hit us with all the nasty oh, details. Please. Okay, okay. We got to talking and then I'm, he told me how much he likes me and how much he wanted to spend more time with me. You know, we just kept... Maybe with time we get to know each other more and that's all. That's, that's all? Me. Can you pull me down, please? That's all. Um, Mary and Martha, please do not hold this against me, okay? This is, this is the first time single ladies are coming to my office to inquire on real estate. I'm humbled with your knowledge of this low-cost housing. For how long have you been into this? Does it really matter? The important thing is that he has good knowledge of the business. And um, it looks like someone who could be trusted. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. I'm fine. I'm very fine. Uh, is your boss around? Yes, he's around. But he's actually with some point now. But I can tell him you're here. Okay. Um, I have something for you. Okay, I saw this in my closet today. So I thought of you. I just hope you like it. <laughs> wow, oh my god. It's beautiful. I like it, right? I, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so kind. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I'll just tell him. Okay, okay I'm waiting. Sir, sister. sir, the princess is here. Oh, the princess? Yes, sir. Wow. What's wrong? I think we'll have to be on our way now. Yes, we'll have to leave like right now. Seriously, you both have got to stop. I mean, just stop it. Sunny, we are sorry, but we really wanted to see this guy. She really wanted to see this guy, and you never asked me. Why? Why did you tell me about it? Actually, we wanted to catch him on our ways to know if he's the real deal without you in the room. Oh, yes. And we know how your last relationship mm -hmm. ended. We want to protect you. She wants to protect me. Listen, girls, come off it. I understand that you are concerned about him. But this guy is different. Chisoba is a good man. I am with him because I want to. You're right. So please, stay the hell away from him. You are right about that. Right about what? He's a good man. And I saw the way he ate up when he heard your arrival. Yes, sadly. In as much as we want to protect you, we are sorry we went the wrong way. You can be with him if you want to. She's right. You both might not realize it now. But you're beginning to fall madly in love with each other. <laughs> can't believe this. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello, manager. Um, can I call you back in five minutes? Hello. You're still up for that dinner tonight? <laughs> what dinner? We agreed to have dinner tonight. We? We discussed it yesterday, remember? No. The last time I checked, you were just passing by with my boss. And you said, hello, pretty. Can I take you for dinner tomorrow? And you left without saying another word. What? Uh, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, come on, lady. It doesn't sound so mean. All right. I want to have dinner with you tonight. Please. No. Why? Because I don't want. Oh. So is this how you want to play it? What is that about? Game on, lady. Um, naturally, sir. A man like you, I'm not supposed to be asking this kind of question. But you're asking because you don't understand how my company completes a bungalow in one month. It's based on the template that I personally developed. And trust me, I am going to teach others that. Okay, sir. Just give me a call when you make up your mind so we'll book an appointment. It's okay. Thank you for calling and have a nice day. Oh. Remind me again. How did your company become this big in a space of three months? Okay. A certain angel walked into my life and everything changed. <laughs> Talking about an angel, showcase. Hello, baby. How are you? You own me. You see, I, I don't understand why you should always call me whenever you want to come over to the house. You have your own key for God's sake. The house is equally yours. Oh baby, come on. Come on, Phil. It's okay. I will see you in an hour. I love you too. Okay, bye. I just, I just said, Joma, what are you doing? What do you think you are doing? What's your problem? My princess, you shouldn't be doing this. Excuse me? Yes, my princess. Cleaning a man's apartment, cooking for him, doing his laundry. Oh no, you are the princess of Obuduko kingdom, for goodness sake. This is not right. He is not even of the same class with you. E.J. Yes, my princess. Drop the rag. I said drop the damn rag. Go to my post, take any money you see there. You can take all of them. Just do me a favor. Leave. What? Do you like me? I do not like repeating myself. Why did I bring you here in the first place? I thought you could help me. I would have just done it by myself. 
My princess. Up with it! You are so lucky that I am not firing you right now. Move it! Get out! Get out! Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, sir. I am very sure. That's good news. Your Majesty, you did just say that. The princess has been going to cook for and clean the house of a man who lives in an apartment. And you see nothing wrong in that? Oh, Ikoko, to tell you the truth, I'm more interested in meeting that man of the moment. I want to know that man and know his intentions towards my daughter. I've waited for long. She will always call to inform me that she will come by so, 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 so time. She will come by that exact time. Wow. I mean, that is amazing. You know, some women will want to come anytime they want, hoping to catch their men with another baby. Princess is a very different person. Yes. She said that I am the man, and the man should not be taken on her ways. I'm still wondering what I've done for God for him to bless me with a woman like that. Okay, so when are we going to get the ring? Oh, I'm still thinking. I still have my fears. I don't understand. You see, sometimes I see myself as not worthy to marry the elaborate princess of Obudubu Kingdom. What? Yes. Her father is the owner of Shivo Oil and Gas, the multi-billion dollar business. And I'm just a businessman living in my apartment. I'll tell you what. You are a successful engineer who is already rewriting the housing history in this country. Look, I am your friend, and I can tell you that you've got potentials. And I don't see any reason any family should reject you as some in law. You think she'll accept it? You want to know what I think? I think she will first of all give you a dirty slap for taking this long to do it. So can we go now? You're a crazy man. Receiving something delicious. And fresh? Yes. <laughs> okay, babe, so I decided to come clean the house, restock your fridge, and then um, I also made dinner. Good. Sunday? Yes, dear. I would want to ask you of something. I, I don't want you to feel bad so much about it. Okay, um, what's going on? What is it? Come on, be bad with it. I don't just know how to say it, but I'm sorry to say this. Just say it. Anyhow, any, just say it out. <sighs> P. 
keep Please you do You marry me <sighs> Are you for real? Damn Yeah, I was thinking you wanted to break up with me Hell no Brought us too much too Beautiful. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. God. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you like it? I love it. Are you for real? <laughs> Thank you so much. Girls, I am not happy with you. I mean, I called you a long time ago. I can't believe with that level of excitement you girls are just getting here now. Find it, please don't be mad at us. I was not around and I asked Amanda not to come without me. Please. Thank God she's not old enough to mm me. -hmm. My princess, we are here now. So, what happened? Okay. Well, I haven't disclosed this to anyone because I wanted to tell my friends first. Okay. We're here. So, um. What? Come news. on, tell us. <laughs> he proposed. <laughs> and I asked. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? The princess is getting married. Getting married to who? To the man she loves. Yes. Are you not happy? I guess he's not happy. Oh, please. Who gives a damn? I mean, I am the one getting married. Oh, yeah. So my opinion counts. Exactly. Can you please show us the ring again? Oh, congrats. How did you say to the latest Brian? Your Majesty, the princess is about to get married to a man who is just ordinary. An ordinary businessman who is still struggling and lives in an apartment. And if she nothing wrong in that, you could go, I don't get it. Would you rather I die still waiting for a better suitor? I mean, if the princess says she wants to get married, let her get married. Listen, at this point, I don't even care if she marries a beggar. What? It's girls, I cannot see that. What? Oh, you're hiding. You're hiding. Hey, Dad. I hear there's good news in the house. How are you, girls? Fine. We're good, you're hiding. Great. Hey, Dad. Um, he proposed. Wow! Indeed, that calls for celebration. <laughs> when can I meet him? What? Your films. When can I meet him? Oh, um. I will have to invite him. Oh, make sure you do that soon. Okay? <laughs> Ladies, request anything you want from the palace maid. If what you want is not there, she will go and get it. Okay? I want you all to celebrate. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Daddy. You're most welcome, my darling. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. You're most welcome, my love. Okay? If you will excuse me. to see me almost immediately. Wow. Not so fast. I certainly my thought. But you see, babe, my, my father is a different breed of woman. I mean, just when you think you know him now, the next minute, he would do something that would make you wonder if he's still the same person. That's scary already. Baby, there's nothing scary about this. Listen, he just made a suggestion. Maybe because he was so excited. But if it is not okay by you, I can... No, 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 I propose, didn't I? So I'm ready 
for anything besides. The sooner the better, right? Okay, so tell me, when will be convenient for you to meet with my father? Whenever that is okay for the king. Um, this night, I'm sure he will be pleased to meet you. Baby caught me there, right? <laughs> anyway, tomorrow will be fine. Okay then, I will let him know. Good night, my love. Good night, my wife. Hmm, I think I love the sound of that. <laughs> Come on, go to bed, okay? Bye, good night. Why must why why must you want to see me so fast? Yeah, the door is open. Oh, man. thank God you are here. Glenn, what's going on, man? You sounded on the phone like a disaster was imminent. The king. What? The king wants to see me. If I get this correctly, you proposed. The princess accepted, told her father, and now he wants to meet with you. Exactly. So then, why are you panicking like a four-year-old child? Roland, you don't understand. I am going to tell the powerful king why I want to be with his daughter. I'm not the powerful princess with fathers like him. So? The princess chose you. She left the powerful princess and chose you. I mean, that's the most important thing. Yeah. I'll say this. Get over your damn self. Saddle up. And be the hero she thinks you are. Yes, so when do you intend fixing the ceremony? Your Highness, I'm planning to do that by September. Ah, why? Because I'm expecting some money by then. And I want to give my woman a wedding that she'll never forget. <laughs> September is too far. Why not marry her immediately? What? Yes, I will foot the entire bill. Listen, leave everything to me. Well, my daughter already told me she is actually the one. So why waste time? See, I don't know the kind of wedding you're planning. But tell me, will 50 million naira be enough? Oh, well, if it's not going to be enough, I can give you more. Um, Your Highness, I must say I'm flattered. But no, I will not take it. I want to do everything by myself. Yeah. I might not be that caliber of man that people expect a princess to marry, but I want to prove it to her that I'm equal to the task. Now, we do respect your highness. If there is anything you want to do for us, that should be after wedding. I want to be the man that completely marry my woman. Wow. <laughs> I must confess, you may not be a prince, but you are certainly the caliber of man that uh, my daughter should be married to. Um, principled and audacious. I like you. Thank you. <laughs> Where could she be? So how did they go? You won't believe what I'm about to tell you now. Okay. So what happened? Nothing. That is it. I mean, what do you mean by nothing? Your father accepted me without any doubt whatsoever. What? He even promised to foot all our wedding bills. But I refused. The fact, the fact that, that I, told I told you not to, to accept, accept any suitor coming, coming through your, your father, father does, does not mean, mean you should reject it through love. love. I'm, I'm telling you this because, because soon you will meet him. But please do not, do not push, push him away on account of your father's 
cultism. As long as the love both of you have for each other is strong enough, nothing can harm you. Hello, babe. Are you okay? For a moment now, you seem very far. I am fine. Um, tell me, babe, how much do you love me? I love you so much that I am ready to devote all my life to make you happy. I love you. And I promise that we will be together forever. Where is this? And where are we going to? Are you confused or what? Listen, the king has asked me to show his potential in law. The parcel of land where he wants to build the very first steel company in the Boruko Kingdom. That's where we are going. Forget about all these things you see. This is just the ah. shortcut. Oh, the shortcut to the place. Then that's wonderful. Yeah, let's okay. go. Forget about all these things. Ah. What's going on? Nothing is going on. Don't be confused. Forget about whatever you see around here. It is just security measure. Look, the casket. Forget about it. Just something we dropped here to scare people away. There are many people that are interested in the land, so this is to scare them away. Okay? I, I, are you sure? Very sure. Come on. Has the one that will replace me in the land of the dead arrived? What? Who will replace you? Me? Replace what? you in the land of the dead? My friend, you are already standing face to face with the casket, and there is no going back. You must take the place of this son of mine. You must be sacrificed in his place. Hey! I am here as instructed. Why is the princess not married yet? She has been rejected suitors. That's why. I asked you to help me, but you ignored me. But then, she has finally found and accepted a suitor. And they are scheduled to get married in September. The earlier you send the soul, into the spirit world to replace you will be better for you. Do that urgently and prepare. I said she's engaged. Why have you suddenly become so impatient? It's not even three years yet. Stop threatening me, for I've been a loyal servant all these years. Oh, now I see. You didn't get the message right. Let me rephrase. You are to die within the next three years, and not after three years. 
Now when I say we mean, I mean it could be today, tomorrow, next month, next year, or even in two years time. If after these three years you continue to live, then you are lucky. But the fact that you have three more years on this earth does not mean you cannot die before then. The sooner you get your daughter married, is ringing. Be what is wrong with you? Why are you not saying anything to me? You're not even responding to anything that I tell you. What is going on? Tell me. You can talk to me. What is it? Have you ever suspected your father of being an awkward man? What? Um, anyway, uh, 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 sorry for asking. Hello there, you two. Greetings, Father. Greetings, Your Highness. How are you, sir? Fine, sir. Thank you. Is anything the matter, my princess? Um, know that I am fine. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, permit me to steal your man for at least two minutes. <laughs> Why not? All right, then. Uh, meet me in the family main lounge. Okay, Your Highness. What are you saying before? Uh, it was just a dream. That's all. It was just a dream? Yeah. You know, it was based on the horror film I watched last night. So I'm reacting to it. I come to think of it, just the scene I watched was so scary. Okay, so nothing more. Just relax yourself. You'll be fine, okay? Let me see your father. I'll be back soon. Hmm? <laughs> So, the last time you were here, we only discussed about your business. Uh, we really didn't get to talk about your background. I guess I was too excited about the engagement thing that I forgot to ask. Anyway, Your Highness, there's nothing much to it. I am a product of a single parent. My mother died giving birth to me. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. Uh, what about your father? I never heard of him. I never met him. He was never in the picture. I grew up with my grandmother here in Obodupu Kingdom. My goodness. Yes, um, Your Highness, when I told the princess about my background, I was so sure that she would never found me worthy of any kind of relationship with her. But she told me that a man should not be blame for the circumstances surrounding his bed. So I, and that a man did not create himself. So I watched her closely, thinking that one day she would wake up and decided to leave me. But as days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, I, I knew it was time for me to propose to her. I knew that God has given me a priceless gift to handle. And um, I was so happy the, that she took me the way I was. So I summoned the courage to propose to her. So I, I thank God that she accepted me the way I am. So Your Highness, I am pleading with you to accept me the way I've made myself to be and the way I was born. Hmm. 
trust him. So, you have been by yourself all this while. You have struggled alone up to this point, all by yourself. Listen, I know you want to make my daughter understand that you're capable of making her a wife. But why don't you allow me help you a little? Your Highness, I don't know what to say. I am not going to give you money. Fortunately, I know the kind of business you do. I know you're a building engineer. So what I will do is to use my influence to introduce you to the Minister of Housing so that you will be listed as one of their topmost contractors in all these building projects, housing and estate schemes that they are doing. That should help you move up. In exchange, I would like you to move up the marriage. Your Highness. I don't know for an answer. Your Highness, thank you very much. Thank you so much. I like the sound of that. Listen, these are the things we do for people. And I would like my son-in-law to be among the bourgeois in this kingdom, the movers and the shakers. <laughs> <laughs> well, sis, I totally understand. Hmm? You know you're in that stage in your relationship where you spend all your free time either talking to him on phone or, <laughs> you know, doing the other thing. <laughs> I honestly do not know what you are talking about. Oh, please. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, um, tell me about this um, Mr. Wright. Well, there's nothing much to say about him, except that he's a businessman. Okay. And from a humble family in this kingdom. That's nice. Now, that's to say he owns his own private company. Um, well, <laughs> he has an office. I mean, he is a builder. So, um, he has an office where he runs his day to day programs and then, you know, does business. Can you tell me more about that, um, that company? Well, um, he just has come off it, bro. This guy is a builder. Of course, he, he has a company, but not really, you know, that big company the way you... That's what I meant. Okay. So, I'm guessing his father must be a prominent man in this kingdom. Well, his mother died when he was little. And then the father was never in the picture. So he grew up with his grandmother and... Sorry, excuse me. Yes, um, hello, babe. Oh, you're done talking with my father? Okay, I'm coming right in. I'm coming to get you. Okay. Um, sorry, I'll be right back, okay? Oh. What is she talking about? Really? Hmm? Bossy. Listen, don't mind him. Yes, he is my brother, but sometimes he's just over dramatic. Okay? Be cool. It's okay. It's okay. So tell me what do I offer you what you want? Father, how can you relax and let this happen? 
Your sister loves that young man. So I decided to bend the royal rules and allow them get married. What? You heard me right. Father, what has gotten into you? You want to bend the royal rule and allow the princess marry a man who doesn't even know his background? Respect for true love. That is what has gotten into you. Father, I would not allow that happen. Not now, and not ever. Tears of the king, cry of the people. Tears of the king, cry Unfortunately for you, I am the one who makes the final decisions. I don't know what you're talking about. In the kingdom, darkness everywhere. He said all that? Yes, I had no other option but to agree. I understand, love. You see, my father has a way of getting whatever he wants. Indeed, he does. So tell me, what happened in your dream? Oh, my love, come on. Why are you taking me back to that? Come on, fix, babe. You see, I told you it's all about the, the movie I watched. The horror movie I watched last night before I went to sleep. I know. And I also believe you. But you see, I just want you to tell me what happened in your dream. So. Okay. Here's what happened. to tell you about the dream what you insisted now you're making me regret telling you the dream this has nothing to do with you my love i'm just concerned with one of the things my mother told me in one of our appearances okay can you tell me about it i mean what your mother said maybe you do not need to bother yourself just be rest assured that no harm will befall you like that. What? What did you just call this man? My husband. And you listen to me. I would not let you talk to my husband like that any further. Do I make myself clear? Um, 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 what is your problem? Yeah, baby, just calm down, okay? It's okay. I'll be waiting for you at our talent. Come on, baby, you do not need to go. You it's okay, not... it's okay. Just speak with your brother. Okay. Also, what is it? Sis, you can't be serious about that guy. I understand it's been a while since you've been with a man who truly likes you. But that guy, he barely even knows his own father. <laughs> I see. Tell me, Paul, see. How well do you even know your father? Excuse me? I am getting married to a Nigerian man. A man who has a Nigerian passport here in Nigeria. I mean, what am I even saying? A man who has a legitimate business here in the Bodoba Kingdom. That information is very okay for me. Ah, ah, ah. Sonny, you've gone mad. You've gone stuck, raving mad. Bossy, let me make this very clear to you. When I get married to Chizoba, he will be living with me right in my own wing of the palace. No one. I repeat, no one has the right to question my decision. Do I make myself clear? Sandy.
Are you ready to go? Because I am going with you. This whole environment is so toxic for me right now. And I cannot survive here. What's wrong? Don't even start now, babe. Right after you. Thank you. Did it go? Your Majesty, he said he is going to relay the message to the elders. Mm -hmm. But to confirm that the elders will actually attend the marriage of the princess is what he cannot do. Uh -uh. Who said that? That's what he said, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So, um, why don't you wait until this until you're back in the evening? You know, some point you have to go back home and face your brother. I know. But nobody says I can have a peaceful or quiet time with my friends. We will still talk about me leaving in the palace with you. I am not changing my mind. We'll see. Okay. You need to get going, so we don't want that. <laughs> I'll see you, okay? Okay. And have a nice day. You too. Bye bye. The others say they will not be participating in your daughter's marriage ceremony or any other ceremony concerning the royal household. They are doing this because the last time the chief priest paid us a visit, he said that the darkness surrounding the royal family is getting thicker by the day. He said that the political and administrative institutions of Obuduku Kingdom are being controlled by some very dark forces. He has asked everybody to keep up the royal household until you come out with the truth, which is the reason I have come again, not only as the Ono, but as the Isine Buogidi of Oboluku Kingdom, to ask you the very question I have been asking you for a long time now. Igwe Akubeze, what is going on? If you don't speak up, there is no way we can help you. What is going on? Mr. Goldinger. And what's the meaning of this? Well, this is me coming to warn you to stay away from my sister and my family. Excuse me? <laughs> well, I know your type. You see, men like you work so hard to create this picture of a perfect gentleman and the sights of every wealthy lady they come across. Making them see you as a perfect gentleman. Fine. You must have played your games right with my sister. But what I do not know is how you managed to sink your claws into my father. Well, that is why I'm here. To let you know that no matter how you decide to play it, I will not let you get a fathom 
mean a dime for my family. So this is it. This is actually your problem. You think I'm after your family wealth? <laughs> what else would a poor orphan like you be looking for in a princess? Or is this a fairy tale? Now tell me. Wow. Wow. If I had only accepted the 50 million naira your father offered me for the wedding, then all this rubbish you're talking here will make sense. What did you just say? Let me write. 50 million now. <laughs> You're a pathological liar. How did you hide it from all of them? Tell me. Young man, you cannot call me a liar when you have no proof. Well, old man, stay away from my sister. I will not warn you again. Else, I'll warn you things. Don't say I did not want to I'm very sure he listens to me. And I'm very sure it takes you at will. Just thinking of us. Yes. Now you listen good. I want you to warn you. To stick to commoners like you. The next time he makes a move towards my sister, it will be disaster for you all. It's unfortunate that you don't even know the man you're insulting. He may be a commoner, but he belongs to a class that some fools can never attain. What? Are you trying to call me a fool? Some people are so poor that the only thing that they have is so much money. Some people are so classless that the only class they belong to is that they were born into affluence and they have never achieved anything on their own. Significantly, they know themselves. They call us commoners, and I call them fools. How dare you? How dare you? Stop it! A man who calls himself a man is not supposed to hit a woman, no matter what she does. With all the exposure, you're supposed to know that. Are you serious with this thing, father? You did what? You heard me right. I offered him 50 million naira and he rejected it. Insisting that he would not want it to look like he's interested in the princess because of money. And sincerely, from what I now know, he's a gentleman. And he's genuinely in love with your sister. Hmm. I see. Yes, who's there? Hold on. Hold on, I am coming. What are you doing here? How did you find this place? Well, Dad, give me this address. Can I at least come inside? Well, that depends. Depends on what? On why you are here. What are you doing here? Oh, well, Sandy, um, I come in peace. Okay? I am sincerely sorry. Well, I don't believe you. Well, listen, uh, Dad told me about the money he rejected. So? So I found it very hard to believe. To believe what? That a man like Chisoba would love me unconditionally without having eyes for my money? 
Or you could not believe. I mean, do I even look so ugly to you guys? Do I? I'm sorry I, I had it all wrong. Okay? Please forgive me. Fine, come on in. <laughs> Darling, sis. Well, I guess it's not back yet. Not yet. Who knows? Maybe he's somewhere pondering and thinking about his whole marriage plan. <laughs> because if you lose my brother, I will strangle him one day in his sleep. Oh, thanks to my lovely brother. Oh, no, come on. I can't do that. Of course, you know me. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe in reality the princess won't be a happy woman when married to me. For all I know, I might not be able to meet up her needs. I just might not be equal to the task. Please, oh man. Can you just do me a favor and shut up? See it. So this is what you've been calculating in your head ever since that idiot. Left here. Thank God. Thank God Sylvia called me. I can't believe you are beginning to rethink your getting married to your soulmate simply because she has a fool for a brother. He called me a gold digger. So what? Have you forgotten how it all started? Have you forgotten how you both met? She's about tell me you've forgotten how many times she rejected her money and how many times she insisted that you accepted the money because she believes in you. Have you also forgotten how she welcomed you with open hands and no judgment even after knowing about your background? You've forgotten? Now listen to me. The princess chose you. She's been choosing you. Even up to now, she chose you. So get up that self pity chair of yours and go home to your wife. Baby, baby, baby. That's really nice one. <laughs> I'm sure you're the one that... Um, what fruit is this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you see how much I've missed you. <laughs> I've never taken. Please, I'm coming. I'm coming. How are you? I'm fine. You see, I have no right to call you a liar. Because I had no evidence or proof that you were one. So I'm sorry. Sincerely from my heart. I am very sorry. I see. Well, I came here to apologize for my sister told me that you were not home, so I had to wait. Chizobai misjudged you. I really did. And I'm very sorry about that. Okay? It's okay. Well, I see my sister is in good hands. Or you can ask me to leave. I wouldn't hold that against you. I'm really sorry. I would have asked you to sit and have some drink with me. 
But I can see that your sister is already doing that. So I would ask you to stay for a dinner. <laughs> She's so bar. You see, you're a good man. She's very lucky. Hmm? <laughs> nice one, sis. Thank you. Wow. What's going on here? Where is my father? Your dad is in a meeting. Is that why you're standing here? Yes, because he has left an instruction that he wouldn't want to be disturbed. Why didn't you just ask one of the palace guards to do that? Because the last time I checked, you were not a guard in this palace. And that is why I'm here. I am not a guard like you said, and he couldn't have asked any of the guards to stand here because the meeting in person is absolutely confidential. Absolutely confidential, you see. That is to say I can't go in there to see my father. I see. Well, do you even know your father? So, are we going to start the fight now? Or should we wait till tomorrow morning? And what fight are you talking about? The one that will determine if I am going to stay with my wife in her father's house or not. <sighs> BP. Listen to me. I know you are making so much money from your work. But you don't have to be going around spending your money on um, trying to build a new house for us. Why don't you invest it? Get a land, build it. Maybe you can even build an estate. Do you understand? After all, that was how my father made his money. Today, is the owner of Chevo Oil and Gas. I remember you complaining about the rent that you pay. Eh? And the reasons you want us to move into our new house is because you want to end the yearly rent expenses. Come on, babe, I want you to move in with us. At least we can have time to sort out our estate expenses. And then we will be able to build something small for ourselves. Okay? Hmm. Wow. Wow. What's wow? You don't like my idea? Indeed. I am lucky to have you. <laughs> And I take that to mean that you've accepted my idea. I thank God for sending you my way. Come on, babe. I also thank God for sending you my way, you know. <laughs> so, can we Boss. go in? Go in for... Uh, Please, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. I want to tell you something, one more what? thing. It's about my father.
Why do I have this impression that there is something you want to say? Why are you not talking? Oh, really? Well, I should be the one asking you that question. Really? Ikuku, is there something you and my dad are hiding from us? Something like what? I don't know. I just do not know. You see, I've been thinking, and a whole lot just do not make sense. So you tell me, is there something you and my dad are hiding? Are you not supposed to be talking to your sister? She is a princess. And many young women in this kingdom, and even beyond, look up to her as their role model. Why will she finally move in to live with a man who has not married her yet? Hey, Kuku, why are you trying to deviate from the question I've asked you? Why? Moreover, this is new, Melina. We should learn to respect people's opinions and choices. That man is going to marry her. And she has the right to stay with him for as long as she wants. At least to know him more. Now you tell me, is there something I need to know? Well, if that is your understanding of life, I am not going to argue with you. But you met me playing this. And can you please allow me to continue from where I started? What? What are you saying? I am asking you a question. Ikuku, answer me. What do I need to know? What is going on? Really? Then you can as well sit down here and continue looking for something that is not looking for you. Good night. Ikuku. Why is it finally looking as if I do not know my father? Why? Well, I came home yesterday to find him having a secret meeting. And now you're telling me that mom appeared to you in a dream to reveal to you that dad is a cultist. Sandy. How long has this been going on? And why am I just finding out now? Come on, brother. I mean, things like this are very confusing. And it can break a home, I'm sure you know that. I was just trying to be careful and I haven't told anyone about this. You know, apart from the dreams that I had about our mother, I have every evidence to prove anything. Anything at all. I think you should confront your father face to face. His reaction will tell us what else to do. So where is this coming from? Dad, are you a cultist? I mean, were you ever a cultist? <coughs> Did you or do you have no. Any problem with an occult? No. N O no. I'm a traditional ruler for goodness sake. Not a cultist. And let me warn you, you have to be careful with any kind of rumor that you believe in. It could be harmful to innocent people. Father, I had a dream. My mother came to me in my dream. She told me lots of things. And that is the reason I never obliged to anyone you were trying to attach me with. I'm very disappointed in you. After all the exposure I give to you, you still sit here before me and give importance to what anyone said in one dream. Dad, it is not just anyone. Hmm. I am talking about my mother, your late wife. Father, she told me... Listen, I am a king. I'm a businessman and a father. I have nothing to do with cultism or anything you call. If that is the reason for this meeting, then I must tell you here and now, 
as this meeting is closed. Dad. If you do good, not for you. If you do bad, not for you. If you do good, not for you. Ehoku, you are my father's advisor and in his closest confidant. Tell me the truth. But I have told you the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I don't know what other thing you want me to say. Your father is not a cultist. He is not involved in any form of ritual. That's the truth. And I am disappointed with you that you have gone ahead to confront your father with this nonsense. Why do I find it so hard to believe? I mean, any of you, why? Well, I don't have a problem with what you decide to believe or not. I have told you the truth. It is left to you to believe or oh, refuse to believe. That we have not managed to find anything shouldn't lure us into thinking that there is nothing. There is definitely something. Trust me, we're going to find it. Well, I'm pausing. I have to go because I have to make dinner for Chizo. Well, in as much as you're in the hands of a good man. Don't you think it's quite wrong for you to have moved in with him the way you did? Paul Sin, I understand everything you've been saying here. But you see, some certain things that happened in this palace scare me a lot. Yes, it is not right for me to move in with him the way I did. But then again, I am staying with a decent man. A man who understands everything about royal marriage. I am in the hands of a good man, like you said. Thank you for acknowledging that. I have to run along. Very well, then. See you. A decent man that understands everything about royal marriage. What does that even mean? Could it be they're not sleeping together? And he has never attempted to have anything with her. <laughs> Is that even possible? Can, can, can you imagine? What if they plan to hurt you? I mean, what if they plan to, to do something bad to you? My mother warned me severally in my dreams. What if she's right? Baby, what if they, they plan to sabotage our wedding? I do not want anything to happen to you. My love, um, remember she told you that love, when pure and truthful, can defeat any form of darkness. Oh God, baby, I know. You see, but it's just not... No, no, no but. Why are you afraid? Why wouldn't I be afraid? Tell me. Listen, you have to concentrate on your wedding plans, okay? I'll keep an eye on that. As for me, school is on break, so I have all the time I need. Okay? Just focus on your wedding plans. Wait, I mean, I'm... Like, you're staying over? Of course, I will. I will. You My promise? Love. Yes, I promise. Hello. Why don't we go out for dinner? Okay. Dinner? 
Come with me, but I'm getting ready to cook something. I am not going to let you into that kitchen for anything. Mm. Hmm. Well, I wish I would find someone that would love me like this. Oh, please. You'll be <laughs> Um, my prince. Yes. Why don't you join us? Of course. Of course, I will. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, okay babe. Why? Well, let me go inside and then get my post. Should we go? Okay. <laughs> what do you need your post for? Like you're the one paying for the food. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Please do not be rude. You know, women are so attached to some silly things they buy and put in their paws for themselves. Okay, so why don't I go get my paws? And I'll be right back. Oh, oh, no. Then I'll be changing too. Baby. Yeah, come on. Most practically everything about me. <laughs> you guys know this too, man. You guys know this too, man. The way you talk to me lately is to say the least very unfair. I am an apostle of the golden air and I deserve some commendations. You, you deserve, deserve no commendation for you have committed a huge blunder. Why did you allow the man who married your daughter to move into the place with her? What blunder are you talking about? Was that not what you asked me to do? I, I never, never asked you to encourage her to bring the man into the palace. Your daughter is indeed a woman of class. All through the period you left her. All the while she slept in his apartment. They never came together as man and the woman. She made it possible. She made that possible because she knew the staff of the kings will rise against the princess that violated the rule of royal marriage. Finally, that marriage got consummated under the protection of the ancient staff of the kings of the Fubonuku kingdom. The princess is already pregnant, and we cannot harm the father of her child. What? You, you might not know this. But every child conceived on the wind. You, you might, might not, not know this, but every child conceived on the wings of royalty is completely protected by the ancient staff of the kings. And for reasons we cannot understand, that ancient staff is guiding your son in law. And for reasons we cannot understand, that Asian staff is guiding your son-in-law. We cannot touch him, for the occult cannot contend with the Asian weapons and authorities. Well, why didn't you mention all this earlier? Why wait until now? Why wait until now to start reading all these rules into my ears? We read the rules as events of old. You, you might have succeeded in soiling the throne of the kingdom with the blood and the darkness. But you didn't succeed in bringing the ancient staff of the king to your side. That staff only gets attached to clean hands and pure hands. The moment you decided to join your court, to be left you. The people of the world who crown you king. Because it was the right thing to do as the heir to the throne. They had no reason to question your sanctity and uprightness. So, how do we solve this now? You, you have been the only option that will have given you ten more years. Prepare yourself for the end of the world. The sacrifice of oneself by oneself. It is going to happen when the time is now. But, but, but why can't the sacred order of the golden air destroy this so-called staff of the kings? That, that staff is, is not used. It is something, something rooted in tradition. tradition. And the ancient traditions and rules were properly maintained as superior to your Then there must be another way out. Because I don't want to die now. Then I made that, that marriage to get another, another husband, husband for the princess. This one that already attracted the protection of the ancient authorities 
is no longer acceptable to us. In the sacred order of the world. That's not possible, Father. I will not allow that happen in this palace. Really? Be very careful, young man. Don't mistake the gentleness of the tiger for cowardice. I am still the king of this land and the custodian of the traditional authorities of Obuduku Kingdom. That marriage, as far as I'm concerned, stands terminated and you're not going to argue with me on this. Father, you cannot just wake up one morning and decide you no longer approve of your daughter's husband and you expect her to send him packing. That's not going to work. Listen, young man. There is evidence that that bastard is cheating on your sister. What right does he have to cheat on not just my daughter, but the princess of Obuduku Kingdom? What right? No evidence. O okay, Dad. What are the evidence? Can I have them? Let me see them. Are you out of your mind, Paulson? You're asking me for evidence? Is something wrong with you? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. But I've grown to know this young man. He is a very decent man. There is no way I'm going to swallow these pills you're giving, huh? Now get this into your head. I am like a moving train. I am going to crush that man. And anyone who stands with him, I will crush. So if you like, stand with him. Dad. Is there a kubizi of Ubuduku? Why are you so impossible? Hmm? Why? I have to kill him. Your Majesty, you will not kill him. I have to. Your Majesty. There's no way. I will not let you kill him, Your Majesty. Excuse me. Your Majesty, the private investigator finally unearthed what I've been asking him to unearth all this wire. Your Majesty, you have to look at this. Take a look at these pictures. I will not allow you to kill that young man because he is my son. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Morsi. Are you serious about what you just said? Is he crazy or something? Is something wrong with him? Sandy, as a matter of fact, yes, he is. He has gone stuck, <laughs> raving mad. Now it's up to us to find out a way to stop him. Yes. We have to stop him. Father, I am tired. Everybody in this palace is tired of your excesses. What is it? Why can't we have peace? Well, if you must know, my husband is not going anywhere. Because our marriage is for better and for worse. Princess, that man is cheating on you. Oh, Father, I am not complaining. I mean, I don't even care. I don't. I have gone to see the priest. And he assured me that my husband and I have wanted the protection of the ancient staff of the kings. What else do you want? What? You know what, Father? Bring in your court, sir. Because I am ready for you right now. Any man she marries will die after one year. So that he will replace you with a man of the dead. Thousands of Confucians, yeah, yeah. Thousands of Christians, the world people keep on wondering. Ah. But when I close my eyes, I see. I know you're surprised to see me in your office. Your manager recognized me as the palace keeper, a messenger of the king. Therefore, she granted me access into your office. But it's okay. Please, do make yourself comfortable. Please, no, sit. No, 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 no. What brought me here is one I can say standard. What happened? Is my wife okay? Your wife is absolutely okay. This visit has got nothing to do with your wife. Oh, okay. I am here to tell you something that has been confirmed. Authoritatively. Jezaba, you are my son.
Excuse me. If you permit me, I will explain everything to you. Um, well, based on what you said, Mother told me when she appeared to you. I am convinced Chizoba is that magic lover she told or talked to you about. I know. That is why I married him. And that is why I am going to resist father with everything in me. And that is where I have to come in. You see, father is not just a man. He's a king. And we should be very careful how we join issues with him. That man can kill him. Oh, please. I don't care. I mean, I have got to consult the priest. Who is the spiritual head of the land? And he has showed me that we are under the protection of the ancient staff of the kings. You shouldn't be scared, Paul Sin. Father can only try, but will never kill us. He can't succeed, please. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Chizuba, are you alright? Are you okay? Well. I think I have to leave you too. Huh? Can you see something? Ikuku is my father. That remains your son in law. This throne will remain as hot as hot coal for you. You stand in my way, Ikuku, Your Majesty. Can't we end all these things already? Please. We have already established that the traditional institutions that we abandon are superior to courtesy. Let us find a way and confess to the chief priest. One way or the other, he's going to forgive us and find a way to reconcile us back to the gods of our land. Now that I know that I have a son, please, let us enjoy this reunion that promises to bring peace and prosperity to us. You must be a fool to tell me that now. ancestors of Obudubu Kingdom. You killed me because I was against the occultic life you started living. You think you can silence me forever? He came to my office and broke that news to me. He explained a lot of things. Some I've already heard from my grandmother. I have a reason to believe he could be Listen, Amuleka. Step away from my side, Amuleka. Or you will force me to handle your second death. Here and now. Get out! Conspiracy against me shall come to nothing. For it is already established in the occult 
that we use the living to buy more years for us. Stop this your resistance. For I must sacrifice this useless offspring of this fool that decided to abandon me halfway. What? Father, I am no longer ready to spare anything. For I do not want to die now. I must sacrifice this idiot that defiled the sacro sanctity of my palace. Oh, I will kill all of you now. I know that I have no child. Father, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? For how long will you keep waging war against traditional establishments? For how long? Well, Father, if you must know, you cannot harm us. Because we are under the protection of the ancient staff of the kings. Oh, shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! For the sacred order of the golden air is superior to all things, including that your useless staff of the kings, or whatever you call it. And I must prove it to you. Okay. The dark cloud hovering over this palace has evaporated. We can now plan again. Shizuba, you have just been saved by our traditional establishments, and you must keep to them. Person, when the dust settles, we will now gather again and make you a new king. Have it. Huh? Have it. Set it on fire. Thousands of confusion. Thousands of questions. Thank you very much. People keep on wondering. But when I close my eyes, I see to love. So very fine. So sweet, so sweet. True love and the way. True love is what I'm waiting. True love is what I'm waiting. For you, if you do but 
now for you. If you do good, now for you. If you do bad, now for you. Tears of the king. Everywhere, killings everywhere, rituals everywhere, judgment is coming. 